Hello, everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we're going to be talking about a donut shop. But before we do, we want to remind you to subscribe to us so you can see our videos as they come out. Now, Donut Shop is designed by Jeffrey D. Ellers, and it will be published by 25th Century Games. You guys, I have worked in a bakery some of the best years of my life because there's no better way to start a morning than by opening up a fresh uh, batch of bakery goods. Um, and that is true with this game as well. There's no better way to start your day than by playing a game of Donut Shop. <laughs> this is a tiling game uh, where you're trying to set up a row of uh, donuts the best way you can so that you can box up and sell them and make some money. Let me show you how to play. All right, here's our setup for Donut Shop. Over here, we have our different our tile dispenser. We have a couple of face-up choices there, plus we have all the random ones back behind. Similarly, over here we have our napkin dispenser, which has all of our face-down cards. We also have a row of two cards that we can choose from face-up. We have a whole bunch of money, which we're trying to earn, that's our victory points. And then, of course, we have our main starting tile. This is basically our donut display case. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start off with one donut tile. You're also gonna be given a uh, donut box, a small donut box, as well as one random card. That's kinda gonna be your starting setup. On your turn, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place your tile in such a way that it connects to as many tiles of the same exact type. So we have this blue icing tile. We've got a lot of blue icing on there. We got one chocolate with some nuts on their top as well. But you know what, let's put it right here. What's gonna happen is we're gonna get five cents per donut matching what we're kinda going for. So in this case, we're gonna get 15 cents for the donuts on our specific tile. Plus, we're going to get five more cents for each donut that's touching of the same type. So we've got another one there and there. So we're gonna get a total of 25 cents from the bank. The next part of your turn is an optional turn where you can basically box up some donuts for sale. You can only box up the types that you have in cards though. So right now, we only have uh, yellow donuts in our cards. We have no blockage of, of just yellow cards. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off our turn by drawing a new tile and a new card. When you draw cards like that, what you're gonna do is you're either going to choose a face up card or a face up tile. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the opposite one face down. So let's say we have a good blocking over here of those blue ones that we just placed and the yellows that we have matching up to it. So let's go ahead and take this blue card. It's gonna match up nicely with the rocks. And then what we can do is we can take a face down donut tile. All right, and that's gonna be our turn. Coming back to our turn, let's say everybody else play their tiles. What we're gonna do is we have this tile now. We can place it wherever we want. Once again, let's go ahead and place this in such a way that we can score some money. So again, we're gonna get our 10 cents uh, for the tones on the tile by declaring the blue, but then also we're gonna get some additional po points based off of the ones that we're connected to. All right, so now this time around, we can actually box up some donuts. So what we do is we discard the cards we wanna use. In this case, we've got blue, we've got yellow, and we've got our box. This is a small box. There are other boxes as well. We have a square shape. We also have this kind of larger rectangle shape, which holds six donuts. We've got an eight pack of donuts. This is going to give you 40 cents when you box it up. A nine pack for 45 cents. And this huge box of a dozen donuts for 60 cents. It's a lot cheaper than a real box of donuts. So we're going to take our tile. We're going to put it over those donuts, showing that it's been sold. And we'll take the money from the bank based off of what we used. So that's what the game is really all about. You're drafting these donut cards, you're drafting these donut tiles, you're laying them out in the tableau, and then trying to lay them out in such a way that you can box them up for points. There are some additional ways that you can get points as well. When you cash in these cards, there's some additional things on the bottom that you might come across. This particular one says, it's got a cup of coffee on there up there, and then it says, if you pair this up with another cup of coffee, you're gonna get an additional 15 cents. If you're able to pair this up with three cups of coffee, you're gonna get 25 cents. Also, there's some cards that come with toppings on the donuts. So for instance, we got over here a maple donut. If you have, are able to box up any donuts that have bacon on it that turn, you're gonna get an extra 10 cents. Or chocolate with the nuts, or we have the, obviously the donut with the sprinkles, and we have the crullers with the chocolate sprinkles. So those are all different ways you can get additional points when you cash in donuts to box them up. So those are all different ways that you can get additional points when you cash in those cards and box up donuts. The game gets really exciting once there's a whole huge tableau laid out in front of you, and then you're trying to place those large, uh, big donut boxes to get the maximum amount of points. So the game is going to end when you either run out of cards or the donut tiles. At that point, you cut up all of your money, and whoever has the most money wins the game. I really liked how they went above and beyond in this game, right? So you have the thing, the orders that you're trying to fulfill, and you could just have that on the table, right? And nobody would have cared. Nobody would have thought anything about it. But no, they have this little dispenser, this adorable little like napkin dispenser that you're pulling them out of. And the same thing with the donuts. So you could have literally just had tiles and flipped them over or the two tiles on top, you just take those. No, no way for this game. What you're gonna do is you are going to have an actual donut display and you're gonna have this little stack that you put them on and it's gonna be adorable and people are gonna love it. 
That's right. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> we recently had a game called Gartenbau that featured kind of stacking tiles on top of each other. Yeah. And we loved it. We thought this was a cool idea. And this is something similar, right? You have this big old display of donuts, all, all different kinds of donuts, all laid out on this tile. But then you have to set up a situation where you're boxing them up. But it's really tricky to try to get the right ones boxed up yeah. a certain way. The way that the tiles are, there's always a variety. There's never just like a set block of like four yes. of the same kind yes. of donut. There's always a little bit of variety. So you have to either collect a lot of different cards so you can deal with any amount of variety or kind of build, like take the time to kind of carve out the section of the board that's got as many glaze or whatever in, the row, in a row right away. So I like having to have that, that, that two layers, you know, being able to set it up and then box them up by putting that box on top. It made it tricky and fun. Yeah, and speaking about planning ahead, right? So it's all a shared board. You don't have your individual boards. You have one major board that you're sharing with everybody. And so you may be planning ahead, but your opponent may also be planning ahead in the exact same spot that you're planning ahead, Ryan. And then what ends up happening is they put a box of donuts where you were going to put a box of donuts, and then they ruined everything. But for some reason, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to straighten my hat here, just make yeah. sure it's just right, you know? Like, basically, you have to plan ahead. You can't just willy-nilly play it, but you need to plan ahead so your dreams can be squashed. Absolutely, by me. Yeah. The, the King Baker. Yeah. <laughs> the toppings on these donuts are just an added little uh, little surprise, right? So you have uh, chocolate donuts, some of them are gonna have a nut chocolate on top of them. Or you have these maple donuts, some of them might have some bacon sprinkled on top. And as you're scoring, that does not come to play, right? It's just you score whatever it is. But then as you also you have some cards, some of them, it will come into play. And then you're trying to figure out how to make the best use of those. It's this nice little wrinkle where you kind of get a little bit of a bonus tacked onto it if you can play the right cards with the right toppings. Um, but it doesn't make or break the game, right? It's not like if you didn't get any draw any of those cards the right yeah. way, the game yeah. at its core is going to change this to be the same. Whereas if you do get a little bit of a bonus and you are trying to hunt for those, it's just like this little extra little thing to kind of brighten your day. But it's not going to actually like you know change the scope of the game, right? And it's just like I don't know. It's, I felt like it was a thematic little nice little touch, but at the same time, it's like oh, little sprinkles on your donut. It's great. I love it. And coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah, cups of coffee. It's almost like a borderline set collection kind of thing. Yeah. On yeah. top of the already set collection style donut game. So essentially, I really enjoyed the presentation of this game, coupled with the gameplay of this game. So it was a really fun experience. This is uh, mouth-wateringly good. <laughs> As we were playing this game, I think both of us mentioned separately, like, yes. Yes. want to go grab a donut after Can this? A donut? Yeah, let's go grab a donut while we're wearing this Oh hats. my gosh, we should totally take this to Donuts and More. Yes. And play it at Donuts and More. They'd just be like, what do you got going on over there? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is a a great presentation, a lot of fun, a, a kind of a cool tile lane game with the, the multiple layers to it, having to box it up. Uh, played quickly, but at the same time, uh, it, just, it just worked. It was yeah. very smooth. The turns were just lighting fast. Well, everybody, don't forget to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out. And if you enjoyed what you see, considering buying us a cup of coffee over at Ko-Fi, there is a link down below. Until then, you can find us in all of these places. You guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.